And so we're going to go into what are we looking forward to this season? I thought we'd give a little preview, give everybody an opportunity to tell us what they are looking forward to. So we're going to start with our guy down there. No, he's down below us. Mr. Anthony Handy. Anthony, give us a little something here, my friend. What are we looking forward to this season? What do you got? I am looking forward to seeing all those doggone dogs playing <laughs> defense in Philadelphia and Link Financial Stadium. I joke. I'm not an Eagles fan, but I right. love following the guys out of college and see how their pro careers go. And I'm very excited to see how they're going to do this. Is second, you know, as you know, this is the second season that massive quantities of dogs have uh, been drafted. Um, and so I want to see how they're all going to do it. It's not just in Philadelphia. There's Stetson out in, in Los Angeles. There's a uh, uh, big Darnell Washington, big O up in Pittsburgh. You know, I want to see how all of these guys are doing. That's one of the things that I love to follow during the, you know, pretty much during the first half of the season, see how they're going to see how they're doing. So sure. There we go. And uh, I love to, I'm also looking forward to uh, commiserating with my friends uh, about how bad the Falcons perform uh, <laughs> during the regular season. And uh, right now there's a, right now there's a, um, I think it's going to run up until Wednesday night to see uh, how many games is it, it's going to be before we, uh, before we are eliminated for playoff contention. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. Don't look forward to that, sir. You know, I don't want that coming yet. I mean, no, but I'll ask you real quickly, since, you know, we got you here, man, like Desmond Ritter, what, what's the deal? What do you think? What's going to happen there? Uh, what are you looking forward to as far as the Falcons with that? Reserving my judgment on Desmond Ritter and the Falcons. There is one player. <laughs> uh, there are some players on the Falcons I'm very excited for. Um, and I will be uh, highlighting a few of them throughout the season during my individual segment. Ritter... Sure. I, Ritter, I got to see, I got to show and prove. Uh, listen, I was born and bred in the great state of Georgia, but when it comes to the Atlanta Falcons, I am from Missouri. You have got to show me. So <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. And that's what got, uh, nope, we're not going to say that. So we're going to stop right there. <laughs> he said, no, we're not going to say that. Well, did, you know what that means? It was good, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have to get Anthony on that later and uh, find out what he was going to say. But thank you, Scott, for commenting. Like I said, Ben is in there. Sean was in there. Andrew was in there earlier. Tina's commenting. Everybody's commenting. It's fun. Appreciate you guys all tuning in. So we'll move on. Let's go to Delilah. Delilah, what are you looking forward to in this 2023 football season? No, I actually am just excited to just football. Honestly, I'm just happy that football's back. Oh, but, I mean, I know college started already, but I'm glad the NFL's back. <laughs> So I'm glad there's going to be football every Sunday again, and I look forward to a bunch of games, and even the Thursday night games, hopefully they're better. You know, as we yeah. know, ever, ever since Thursday night football moved to Amazon, it's been dismal, so hopefully <laughs> hopefully that'll change. Yeah. We'll see. We got Casey in yeah, Detroit, good. which was an interesting opening Thursday decision, yeah. but uh, <laughs> so I'm really hoping that. Uh, it's a fun game, honestly, but I'm just excited. I'm very optimistic. But also, I'm going to stick to carpet bagging because <laughs> <laughs> myself, because I don't want to have too much hope and I have my dreams dashed because as a Chicago <laughs> fan, <laughs> as a Chicago fan, it happens with most of my teams. <laughs> okay. I get excited Understood. and then I'm heartbroken. So, but I'm optimistic, <laughs> but I'm glad the NFL is back. So there you go. Yes. 100%. Definitely glad for that. So, Tina, we'll come to you next. What are you looking forward to in this uh, new football season? I'm looking forward to being able to wear this a lot. <laughs> I call it my Sean Payton hat, the visor. Like, there you um, go. Absolutely. <laughs> um, I am glad to see football back. I It is – I about this time you can just, like, smell it and it just – I, I'm ready for the controversies and the arguments and the no, it's this, it's that, and all that. Um, I'm also looking forward to being on the show because, like, we have a game in less than a month. Our teams are going to be playing against each other. So it's yeah. going to, I think that'll be an interesting, we should do a before and after. 
Well, like we, don't worry, we'll get to one. all that. The reasons are big on this show. Trust me, we're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. You bet. But, yeah, I mean, and I'm also looking forward to, like, okay, we paid Sean a lot of money. Let's see what he can do. Let's see if he can turn this train around and all of that. So it'll be interesting. I So that's what I'm looking forward to. Nope. Oh, that and nope. also the Cubs making it into the postseason. No, they're going to throw <laughs> baseball in there. <laughs> uh, well, Johnny D will hate that. He's not a baseball fan. That's all right, Johnny. Keep watching. Don't don't give up on us. We're not going to go into baseball talk. I promise. No. Keep watching, Johnny. Keep but on. no, um, real quickly, you know, it's like because I know people are going to say, "Okay, Nick, here's where the homer comes out." We know you're excited about your Bears, so I'm not I'm not going to go there right now. What? But I'll be honest. I've always been a Trevor Lawrence fan, and I really feel like this could be the year where the Jaguars show everybody just how good they actually can be. Uh, you know, playing in that AFC South, the other teams, eh, a lot of question marks, don't know where they're going, what's happening. You know, will Tennessee uh, pull Tannehill quickly and put in Will Levis? Where, you know, will, uh, you know, the coach really fail with Anthony Richardson and that sort of thing? You know, like, I feel like that division is the Jaguars to win. And I'm excited that, you know, he gets Calvin Ridley back for, a full, you know, for a season after his suspension last year for, Gambling. Uh, so, yeah, you get Calvin really bad. Got Travis Etienne back there. The defense is pretty solid. So, I'm really looking forward, I think, to watching, you know, g- given that I don't, they're not in our division or our conference. So, I can root for the Jaguars outside of the Bears and be happy for that and see what the Jaguars are about. We're definitely looking forward to that. But, of course, my beloved Bears, I more than anyone have probably, you know, I've tried to be as unbiased as I can when it comes to the Bears. I even told everybody last year I'm going to stop taking the Bears during my Knicks picks because all they do is break my heart every time I pick them for something. So I'm not doing that either. But I'm really excited for Justin Fields with the weapons that he does have. Um, the offensive line is better. It's I mean it may take a little bit to gel, but it's better. It's better than what it was going to. It's it's going to be better than what it was last year. You know, defense people are you know. They, I mean, yes, I understand we were really bad against the run last year. That whole thing, but we short up the middle with Edwards and Edwards, and you still got Jack Sanborn. You know we got Yannick and Gakway to help with the pass rush. So I really am looking forward to the Bears season. I'm really hoping that I don't have to eat a lot of crow from everybody this year because of the Bears, because I know I get excited and start talking. So, but yeah, those are the things I'm looking forward to most. I think this year, uh, as far as the season goes. So, again, hoping the Jaguars do well, hoping my Bears can uh, rattle some cages, make a little bit of noise, and uh, I don't know, Tina, maybe even get a victory over those Broncos of yours in the week, was it three or four? So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. You know, I'm just saying. I'm hoping for, you know, that that, that week one victory against the Packers, and that would just make half of my season anyways. So we're looking forward to that. So-